today i'll be making music but with code so i'll be writing a bunch of ruby scripts and they will create a file which then we can play it will it's going to be a web file and it's going to be a lot of fun and i'll share my code samples in everything so that you guys can also do that all right let's get into it then so the name of the song that i'm going to play is called fur elise fur elise is by ludwig van beethoven he's a great composer has made many 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 famous symphonies of her time of her times this being probably the one which is overused a lot uh, especially in india it's called the aqua god god tune which is basically our water arrow which makes this noise sound Sorry. So I'm going to play the song from New School. So yeah, this was the song. I'm pretty sure you must have heard this song somewhere in your life, and uh, if you haven't, here I lie. So let's get into it. So we'll be using this Ruby gem called Muse. It's by this person called Sawshong. I am really sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but it's a really cool gem. So what it allows me to do is just give the notes, and it sort of gives you a web file that you can then play. It's very similar to how sheet music works. Uh, if you don't know what sheet music is, this is sheet music. It tells you what notes to play, when to play, at how, at what speed, and everything. So we sort of provide that same information to Muse, and Muse gives us a web file that we will then play. So you excited? Let's dig into it. So the first thing that I have to do is install Muse. Great, installed. So I went ahead and created this file called song.rb that you can see over here. Now I will require Muse. After that, it's basically you know it's a very simple song dot record call. Which I will do. One thing that we forgot to do is include the Muse class and its methods in the top level object. So I'm going to go ahead and include Muse. I'll rename this to Fur Elise because that's the name of the song. Now the opening part of the of Fur Elise I can play on my keyboard over here. E, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, or E E flat. But according to read me. There are no flats in this library. You just have to work with sharps. So E D sharp E D sharp E D D C A. All right. Sorry for my terrible singing. But I've got a fair idea of what I have to do initially. But another thing that I can do is refer to the sheet music. As you can see, it's E D sharp E D sharp E B. D C A. So what I'll do is I'll create the first bar first, and hopefully it should run. So to create the create the first bar, I just have to do something like this. Now I let each beat be zero point two five, and the notes are E five dis five. The first bar has just two notes, and then the second bar has multiple notes. Hmm. So let's do one thing. Let's try to run just this part. Then we'll see how to move ahead. So, just to recall, this is how it should play. So we'll run this file. Great, we have already gotten a for Elise dot web file over here. Now we need to play the web file. Okay, that was very fast. I think we need to reduce the beats per minute to about sixty. Great! It it works. So now all I need to do is just repeat this whole process. Hmm. So one interesting thing happened on bar three. The notes are on the left left hand and right hand as well. Oh my god! So on left hand we have this part. Sorry, on the on left hand we have this part, and on right hand we have this part. So I I went ahead and sort of represented it in this fashion. Hopefully, hopefully that should be okay. That is what the readme says. So it should be okay. What I'll do, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and quickly create the file again, just to test out that we are we are on the right track. Ah, 
amazing great great very good very good so now what i have to do is basically go ahead and create this whole thing uh just be a glorified copy here from the sheet music to code hmm. it's just getting boring now <laughs> all right so we have the first nine bars of for ellie's basically so let's just go ahead and create the web file and play it all right the file is here uh, let's go to the folder and play it oops Man, that worked. That worked. Come on, come on. All right. So what happens next is that it sort of repeats and uh, does the same thing until it doesn't. So what we'll do is we'll uh, refactor the code so that you know we can actually repeat this thing. So I'm just going to call it intro. Maybe. Yeah, intro sounds good. Cool. And I'll copy these. Very good. And. Uh, I should just play the intro here. Awesome. Hmm. Now there's one problem here. Uh, if I go and write intro here once again, what will happen is it will just keep going to the one to the bar one, bar two, bar three. It will not go to you know 10, 11, 12, 13, which actually where we want to go. So one thing probably we can have is uh, ask this method to basically include a num and then simply go and add num so we can just say zero and because you know we are developers we start from zero and uh, hmm let's hope it works the file is here just completed the bar 18 but uh, you know it's not really complete complete because at the end it sort of is asking for uh, three more notes basically so let's go ahead and add those great so now we are on bar 19 uh, now we should go back and basically read the sheet music and just convert it hmm. so that was nice but yeah, I have uh, basically the initial version of the initial parts of the first 23 bars of <laughs> for Ellie's ready with me. But I haven't I haven't played it yet. So let's just go to a terminal and <laughs> play them. The file has been created. This is the moment of truth. good job okay so this was pretty fun we were actually able to play the initial part of for ellie's actually this is the whole amount of for ellie's that i i can play on on my keyboard so you've got the gist how to play the songs it's basically like playing a keyboard except that you're playing it you're just writing down the notes not really playing it when you write down the notes and create the web file this is what it looks sounds like Now it sounds a little bland because you know it's just a simple sine wave that we are using to generate that sound. What we can actually do is use our own harmonics as per 
the library so the library says sound is created by waves uh, the default sound for each node in muse is a pure sine wave and which is why you know you're actually hearing that you're not getting this sweet but anyway as per the library we can actually go ahead and change the input sound the output sound sorry uh, to something else so i did some digging around the library and uh, realized that the code had some fault so what i did was i went ahead and uh, basically patched the library i have sent a pull request which has not been accepted uh, as you can see the branch is one commit ahead so let's try out a different harmonic so i was searching for the equation of uh, a piano basically like the sound it creates uh, can i get an equation of that and uh, i found this really scary one but then i found a very simple one uh, which i sort of went ahead and uh, implemented so this is what it looks like there's a sign then there's a multiplication by exponential and then blah 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 you don't need that all you need to know is harmonic piano let's just create a copy of this original file and let's call it furly's sign <laughs> it's a little bit quiet but yeah now you can see it says piano over here instead of default the file is here so this is the original sign one all right now let's hear our piano modified harmonic piano the equation that we found on the internet This has been a disaster, but at least it's it's still better than the sign one. Actually, let's do one thing. Let's just put the intro in the default system. H default. Yeah, that, this was nice, uh, but, but uh, sorry, I'll have to remove this. Yeah, so these are the multiple uh, harmonics that we have I added the piano one. We can actually go ahead and do all kinds of crazy things, but uh, you get the gist, right? So this was this has been great fun. Uh, I hope you got to learn something. Uh, I'll have relevant links in the description. Uh, if you want to go ahead and create your own music one of the reasons why it was very easy for me because was because i knew how to read sheet music i had some music theory information and uh, i can play a piano basically and a ukulele as well you know c major a minor so thank you so much guys for watching uh, i guess 2025 of my new subscribers last week has have been because of a tweet that went viral yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. You learned something out of it. Please make sure you hit that like button. Please, please, please. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next week. Completely butchered.